Uh, yeah. Can y'all, like, get out? Um, hello? Thanks. What's up, everybody? It's Josh with FL Gardening, and I just wanted to show you my uh, squirrel defense plan. Wing, wing, wing. <laughs> um, so all of the seeds I've been planting this year have been getting uh, dug up by squirrels. Um, and one of the uh, watchers of this channel put in a comment that uh, she used chicken wire to uh, to act as defense against squirrels. So when they go to dig in here, they get to they poke their little feet, and uh, they don't want to dig in here anymore. So uh, I hope this helps. Um, I'll kind of show you the process. Um, I first planted my seeds, and then I. Uh, like cut a little pieces of chicken wire, but I think it's better to plant the chicken wire and then uh, plant the seeds. You don't disturb the soil as much. Um, but yeah, I replanted um, some dwarf kale, some dinosaur kale, some uh, Swiss chard, Ford hook, um, so, and some kohlrabi. So yeah, I, that's the new plan. Let's keep an eye on these seeds. Um, hopefully the squirrels don't get them. Um, I will do some update videos. All right, here we are a couple days later, and uh, we did have one squirrel incident. It's maybe my fault. <laughs> I had both of these guys sitting up top here, and they knocked one of them off, and the pot fell down, obviously. Got dirt everywhere. Um, kind of crushed this one, but that happened yesterday. Um, but today the seeds popped up through the dirt that fell on top, so those didn't get harmed. Um, on some of the ones that I skimped on chicken wire though, they definitely are kind of digging, but um, there's a couple my girlfriend Joe reinforced for me, thank you. She added extra chicken wire to some of the ones that uh, I kind of skimped on, um, and it doesn't look like the squirrels have been digging, so, uh, so far so good. Alright, so it's been about two weeks since these have been planted uh, with the squirrel defense in place and uh, most things have sprouted the only thing that didn't sprout was the dinosaur kale which got knocked off here so note to self don't leave things on the top shelf um, but besides that the chicken wire seems to be working but yeah I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thin some of these out and then plant or just put a few of the pots out into the uh, holes in the cinder box um, just so I can kind of get acclimated to the area they're going to be in before I transplant them because they still got a little a little bit of ways before I can transplant them. Um, here we got uh, a little basket defense. We got a uh, little monarch caterpillars on there and my girlfriend Joe um, needs to be a good caterpillar parent <laughs> and she needs to uh, put down she put down some protection for these caterpillars because we have lots of birds that fly around here. Just picked up these baskets from the Dollar Tree and she poked some holes in the bottom. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I got going on in the garden right now. I'll be doing updates uh, on things that are going on in the garden, uh, things that are working, things that aren't working. Um, so if you think that seems interesting to you, if you uh, like to garden in Florida, follow along, uh, share your experiences too. Um, down in the comments, uh, you know, things that you found that work and don't work. It'd be super cool. I'm just trying to build a really good resource for uh, Florida gardeners. So uh, if you like to garden and you live in Florida, maybe check out my website. It's flgardening.com. Uh, I've tried to build uh, pretty good resources on there um, for Florida gardeners, especially like around vegetables and things like that, mostly food things. Uh, but yeah, cool. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful and have a good day.